he, as you can see, the Samsung Connect app shows that the device has been found. And let's add it. And there is the device. As you can see now, after a few minutes, it started showing these options. And yep, yeah, it is setting up. It automatically connected. Okay, it says on the remote control that came with your robot vacuum, press and hold the recharge button. So let me get the vacuum, the, I'm sorry, the remote control. Confirm connection screen. And it says press the recharge. I don't even know what the recharge button is here. Maybe this one? Oh yeah. So you can see the home with charge. And I just heard a beep there. Okay, looks like the app itself crashed. Let's add again. Network error. See, add now. Network error. So let's see, add now again. Waiting, waiting. Okay, it automatically went past the 46% where it asked me to press the recharge button on the remote. Let's see, now it's stuck at 53%. Okay, it failed again. We're still waiting at 53%. No luck. Add now. Nope, no luck. I guess I'll have to find some other way to connect the robot to the Samsung Connect app. Okay, so I restarted the app and it says press and hold recharge button until you hear the beep. But the recharge icon there is different to what I see in the remote. But let me just press and hold. Yep, I heard the beep. Okay, let me change the Wi-Fi network and I'll resume the video. So it's automatically registering that to my account. And then, there you go. It's done. I'm going to click remind me later. And here. Okay, it's saying it needs to download. Let it download. This is downloading all the software options for this robot vacuum. So that should help me control the vacuum. Huh. It says robo robot controller not downloaded. Oh, wrong option. Let's click that again. Let's see. And as that has been set up, I can see the Wi-Fi icon glow here. Ignore that. It's just my laptop bag that just fell down prompted me to select the country and once country selection is done these are the options that are displayed as to what I can do manual clean mode with auto 
auto clean mode start stop the spot clean mode check other controls at bottom battery network status all this let's close this and then see suction power is normal battery level okay because it's charging it just shows charging there with repeat mode on or off and yep the moment i click repeat i can see a beep and then i can see the change there it turning off turning on as you can see the repeat mode is off the repeat mode is on and let's change the suction power to max and you can see that a different icon started glowing on the robot and then you can also see the history which as of now there is nothing and let's click okay the battery option is not clickable it's a frozen thing and you can see that it's recharging but the button is disabled we have help and we have settings tutorial all these options for the vacuum and we have the power button let's click the power okay so the power is disabled as well the recharging is disabled too so and we have schedule so okay we have the daily option we have a one day option so schedule we can set the time or we can set it to daily and it should work so that is the initial setup and connection of the samsung powerbot with samsung connect